Hello, and welcome back to our Red Run Challenge in Monster Hunter Generations, where today we're going to see if we can make two weapons in one quest. Well, from one quest, not in the quest. That would be weird if we made weapons in the quest. But considering that we need a Wrath Medulla, and we need uh, some kind of Astalos parts, we're going to try and get the both of them. This isn't what I wanted. There is what I wanted. Give me Defender. Yay. So to increase our chances at the Wrath Medulla, let's bring some Tranks. And this will be in the Verdant Hills. No, Ancestral Step. Either way, don't need cool drinks or hot drinks. And is there anything else I should bring? I mean, why not? That ought to do it. Astalos trying to pick up Arathian, huh? Though really, if they wanted us to stop this forbidden love, they really only needed us to kill one of them. This Rathian seems to like flying more than most. Well, got the files charged. Drink some energy drinks here. Yes, you're very loud, but you're also over there, so... Hi! Not close enough. She's poisoned. Yeah, it seems it was actually a really good idea giving the cats poison weapons, because they've been doing a pretty good job of actually poisoning things. And that's just free damage. Especially if we were fighting Joe. Oh man, he would hate it. If we were fighting Uragon, he'd hate it even more. Dang it. Wasted the flash and took damage. Ooh. Ooh, please. Yeah! Would have been nicer if we hit her before she started landing, because then we would have gotten a knockdown and the next point of damage done to the tail would have cut it. But I'll take a severed tail. Hey lady, you want to you wanna do something that puts you in the air? Good job. What? Okay. Didn't hit the face, but still broke the wing. Counts for something, right? Of course, that time breaking the wing caused a problem. Oh, lady. You're getting on my nerves. Just gonna just gonna grab this real quick. Actually managed to get it. That's great. 
Of course, she had to look at the cat and not me. And hey, we've got the sub-quest in our inventory. Oh, you're just leaving then? It's always weird when a Rathian flaps towards you and then just decides to peace out. And since we're not going to get any closer to the base camp than we are now, let's just go turn in the sub. Collect our loot. Should give us a free trap. And I do like free traps. Ooh, and it's a pit trap. We'll save that for a certain bug zapper. Oh, I guess he's in here. So nice of you two to split sides. So I guard pointed one roar, but not the other. Broke her face. So we should probably encourage that bug zapper to leave. Because he is not raging right now. Ow. And let's just use this file so that it gets used. Don't mind that it's on him so much. Don't really care. Okay, let's charge up this shield. So the only break we have left on her is her back. I'm guessing he has just decided to leave, considering we haven't heard from him in a little bit. Yep. Ow. Come on, lady. I don't need your wind. Ow. Well, at least you saved us the file. Not a bad flinch. Oh, snap. Let's just try and beat on her back a little bit. Because getting that break would be kind of nice. Of course, the easiest way to get it is to get some rides. But do I look like I'm aerial style to you? No, I do not. And wow, that was close. I mean, it's of course possible to get rides. It's just... I can't do it from anywhere I please. And away she goes. That's fine. Gives us time to heal up, sharpen up, ration up. Do other things that can be finished with up. Climb up. Oh. Uh, he's supposed to be the one trying to pick you up, Rathian. Why are you following him? Oh boy. Cat. Had you not smacked me, I might have actually been able to get clear of that. Is 
So hopefully that dung takes. Ooh, close. Yo, lady, over here, under the ledge. No, that, that is, that is not what I wanted. One or two more of those. There we go. Really should have used Limit Breaker. But oh well. Got the break. So let's just give her some of this. Still want to get one more flash in on her, but she is limping away, so we're probably not getting another sparkly. Unfortunate, but what you gonna do? Oh, her paint wore off. Oh well, we can follow her shadow. That was easy. Unfortunately, she's going right back to find him again. Oh, or she's skipping over. That's considerably better for us. Hmm. She's probably gone to the cliff town there, but... Oh no, she's gone here. Even better. So let's get this shock down here. Dang it. I really wish that they had to actually get their feet onto the ground before it stopped being able to knock them down. But sadly, not the case. So, over here, lady. Thank you for your cooperation. You may live. And now to go say hello to her unwanted suitor. Or at least that's what the quest text would have you believe. Ow. I actually just fought a G-rank Astalos for the first time yesterday in Double Cross. That was neat. That video will be airing in like two weeks. This may come as a surprise to you, but I'm enjoying Double Cross. Turns out, when you take Monster Hunter and make there be more of it, I have fun. Yeah, buddy, I don't need you trying to grab me with your tail. And the cats have poisoned him. They are surprisingly good at getting at least one poison. Ow. Dodge towards it, but thankfully the Superman dive doesn't care about what direction you dodge. Ow. With the KO, too. Now, if my cat had succeeded in smacking me out of that KO like he was just trying to do, I saw him running towards me. He would have guaranteed me getting hit by that. Okay, putting down a poison per ism while, while the monster is already poisoned. 
not the best. And he's leaving, and also he's not poisoned anymore. Great. Just fantastic. Oh, thanks for telling me it was a true health horn after I used the first aid med. Good job, cat. I knew I could count on you. I'm gonna dung him and hope he comes back to this trap. Cause dang it, I want him to get into it. Oh, snap! That was not intentional, but it was fantastic. That was quite the fall. Ow. Well, at least I hit something. Excuse me, I kind of want this. Now, would you mind leaving? You smell very, very bad. I see you're wearing a knee pad. Ow. All right, please go to where the trap is. Thank you, please. But in reverse order, please and thank you. Nope. That's okay, he's still only one load screen away from it. We can try again. Though if he refuses to go to where the trap is this time, then we pretty much have to write it off because it'll basically be out of time by the time he gets to where it is. Assuming he even goes there the next time. Again? I mean, sure, I was trying to do the exact same thing, so you could counter it the exact same way, but... Did you have to? Ow. Good job, cat. Ow. Thanks for the health horn. I really wish they would say what kind of horn they were using when they started using it, rather than when its effect actually kicked in. Would make it a lot easier to make healing decisions. Go to where the trap is, please. I'll be your friend if you do. No, I won't, but I mean... We can hang out. Now that is the opposite of the direction I wanted him to go. So we just get to ride off that trap. It's a shame, but... Whoops. Yeah, it's a shame, but what are we going to do? What you hanging out down there for? That's right, get up here. Ow. But not that ow. Surprisingly, not very ow at all relative to how far I got launched. Yo, buddy, get over here. Okay, that's one way to get over there. I was hoping for a less violent way. Okay, can, can you stop with the launching? No? Ow. Okay, I need health. I need it badly. <laughs> oh, good. That's a nice opening. Seems there are advantages to fighting down here. 
in that that one particular attack doesn't work quite how he expects it to. Come on down, buddy. Actually, don't. Okay, do, but stay there. Oh, dang it. Ow! Really? You can do the super launch with those from down there? Okay. There, now you're painted. Okay, he is over the gap. So we've got to hope that A, he falls in such a way that we can still hit the parts we want, specifically his tail. And B, that we don't end this ride falling directly in there. Ooh, close. All right. Got what I wanted out of that. Okay. Bye. Didn't need a scissor tail. I should try and get one more mount. Get that back break. That would be nice. But I should also not neglect the face and wing breaks that we need. That was close. Um, where were you firing that? Today I learned I can block a beam of pure electric energy. Now, had I hit X, I probably would have guard pointed that roar. But no, instead I started holding R like a tool. Oh, snap. Okay, you can miss me. That's totally cool. Okay, I was a little worried I had used that absolute evade a bit too early, but it ended up being okay. Guard point. Not even an intentional one that time. Another not intentional guard point. Ow. And he's tired, so he is about to discharge his wings. There they go. And he's poisoned again. Good job, cats. Let's just use this right here. It's not going to help us to get that back break, but still, damage. Let's grab this sparkly before it goes away. Not a great one. Ow. I should be trying for a KO. KO and a mount. Both would be pretty good. I should also use at least one of these traps I've got. But I think I'll wait until he leaves the area because I don't want to have a repeat of that last situation. Hey, he was ready to go. Oh, now he goes over to where that trap had been. Well, let's put this one right here. 
And when he's in it, we can go for his back. Thanks, Jaggy. Oh. Those actually zigzag out pretty far from him. Now, if he was smart, he wouldn't still be so close to the ground during that glide. Caught the back break. And I got nothing with that. If only my cats, when they still had the para weapons, would get paras as often as they are getting poisons. Though I assume part of it is because they had had low rank weapons back then and they've got high rank weapons now. Perhaps it's just a difference of how much status they do per hit. Then again, poison does make a lot of quests much shorter. Okay, at least I hit something. What you doing way over there? We need to get charge. It would be possible to capture him, but I don't know that there would be any advantage to doing so. So I'm not gonna. I really don't like fighting in this cliff town area. Because you can't really effectively fight between multiple elevations, and there's no individual elevation that's wide enough. I mean, there are some that are pretty sizable, like the one that he's on right now. It's okay to fight monsters here, it's just, it's still relatively small. Also, this hill can get a little... A little annoying, but I guess it doesn't matter because we're not fighting here because he's dead. Good job, cats. That was their win. Hopefully I get the whatever it is I need from him. I don't even remember what it was. I just remember it existed and was something. Well, we used all of our supply items. I suppose that means we were being efficient, or highly inefficient, depending how you want to look at it. The fact that we used all of them implies that we weren't doing so hot. It implies that we needed to use them. Ooh, yay, I needed that. So hopefully we get ourselves a Wrath Medulla from this. That would be very nice. Ooh, ooh, is that, is that? It's not. Ugh. We, we've been played. Still, there are more quests with Wraths. There are plenty of them. Plenty. Is 
So let's see about whether or not we can upgrade our Astalos weapon. Nope. We sure can't. Need more membranes. But, because we got the monster broth, at least we can upgrade this. May or may not end up being at all worth it. Okay, we need more monster broth. I guess we'll just never upgrade that. That's fine. I do think we've got like two, maybe three more quests available with Astalos. High rank ones. And as much as I want to upgrade that weapon, I think next time we're going to do a quest with at least one Wrath in it. So join us then for that. See you then, friends.